Good morning, peoples. All right, so interesting unboxing. Definitely a learning experience. Uh, I'm learning that the watches I like are generally not here in the States. So this little baby took an act of God to be able to get it. I harassed people here in the States. Nobody had it. Those who could get it or, or were authorized dealers were not allowed to sell these models for some reason. I, I can't really explain it. This actually had to come from the UK. So found a company in the UK, Hillier Jewelers, that did a great job getting it to me. Shipped, I think it was the same day. Uh, so far, awesome, awesome experience. Just, like I said, took an act of God to get it here. So customary wrist check. I've got nothing because I just woke up. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. I've been waiting for the first of these watches to arrive. And I say first because there's actually four in this series. I don't know if I'll buy the other three yet. This was kind of a way to test the process of buying from the UK and buying from that vendor or from that company and having it reach me in the States. So let me just stop battling and I'll, I'll show you what we, what we have here in this magic little box. Not really sure where to open it. Maybe we'll get rid of the paperwork and go from that that side of things. Lots of paperwork. Love paperwork. All right. Man, they did a great job in sealing this thing, but they actually wrapped the whole box. I think they wrapped the whole box. I guess if I purchase the prospects, I don't have to worry about it not making it. Here we are. There's the first hint at what we have. Again, one of my favorite brands, Seiko. Let's pop this out of here. That's got some weight to it. For what this is, that's actually, uh, that's that's pretty heavy. All right, so we got some Japanese writing on the back. We got Seiko on the front. It's definitely an interesting box. I think it's the first Seiko box that I had that looked like this. We open the top, we got some manuals. Lots of manuals the actual box. So this is the first Seiko 5 that I've purchased. Kind of interesting that I would go to the extent of reaching out to Great Britain to get my hands on their, I don't know if it's their lowest end or least expensive or their sports model or however you want to put it. But yeah, I couldn't get this here in the States so I had to reach out to this company in, in the UK to grab a Seiko 5. And as I mentioned, there's four in this series. So here we have it. All right, what is this? That's a beautiful little watch. I gotta be honest, that's, I'm glad I made this purchase. All right, so let me give you a close up. See if the camera will focus. There we have it. I wasn't sure if the dial was gonna be silver or white or, or what it was, but that's, it's kind of both. Nice, nice watch actually. Kind of impressed for a Seiko, or for a Seiko 5. So the skew on this, Sierra Romeo Papa, Golf 47K1, so SRPG 47K1, and that was the interesting part. I guess because it was an SRPG, I don't know what, what is significant about that, but because it was an SRPG, some of the places that I would have purchased from here in the States mentioned that they were not allowed to sell that category of Seikos for some reason. They're authorized dealers, they sell other Seikos, but could not sell SRPG for some reason. Another told me, another one that I found online, told me that the only way he could sell it is if somebody walked into the store. So even though they had an online presence and were doing business online, that it could only be purchased in person. So I don't know what that was about. Ba basically, like I said, everybody had a song and dance as to why they either couldn't sell it, didn't have it, whatever it is. But you know, I decided I wasn't gonna cut these things, but I'm gonna cut it. All right, I guess that was tag number one. Oh my God. Gosh, I wonder if it's a no-no to cut those things. Like, do they kill resale value because you cut the loop? All right, there we have it. Let's see what it looks like on my Kanko wrist. All right, so there we have it. Not a bad, not a bad watch. I was a bit, bit worried that the case would, would be very small for a Seiko 5. Yeah, and on my seven, seven and three quarter inch wrist, it does actually fit quite well. All right, so let's talk about what we have here. It is the Seiko 5. 
sorry, the Seiko 5 140th anniversary automatic sports watch. That's not bad. So inside we have the, I think it's the 4R36 movement. Again, stainless steel case and strap. Silver dial is what they list it as. So it's not white, it's actually silver. The case width is 43 millimeters. Case depth is 13 millimeters, has a showcase back. Water resistant to 100 meters, has a two year manufacturing guarantee, not a warranty, a guarantee. And they say that it comes complete with a presentation box. However, being cardboard, I don't know how much of a presentation that is. So let's look at the watch in a bit more detail. I don't know the lug width. Width they don't uh, they don't advertise it. What does that say? Right, the width the, the width is not advertised in the bracelet, but it looks maybe like a 22. Interesting bracelet. The the clasp feels a bit. It's definitely stamped pressed metal. So it's not not the highest end class, but still for what you're paying for this, I think it retails for $299. Whether you're here in the States, $299 or 299 pounds in, in the UK. It has this interesting registration pin that I'm seeing on a lot more, or I'm seeing on more bracelets. I'm not sure why. As a stamped embossed logo on the on the actual locking clasp. It has a micro adjustment on here. It is not a quick release micro adjustment, which I gotta be honest, on my Omega, I, I really love. But yeah, not a, not a bad watch. For, again, for what it costs for it being a Seiko 5 and not a Prospects or one of the others, that's definitely that's definitely a, a good looking watch and, and a really good quality. So I don't know if you can see this as well, but as far as the as far as the face is concerned and the bezel, the bezel is actually this this kind of deep dark blue highlighting the silver bezel which or the silver face, which kind of looks almost white. Oh, that's a really nice feeling bezel, actually. So again, this is part of the 140th anniversary. They have four others. I think they have a, a Prospects, a Prestige, and an Astron all in this color scheme. Different faces, different bezels, obviously, based on that subcategory or that grouping or that product line. But yeah, this is, um, it's definitely one that I am I'm glad I made the purchase for, even though it did take quite a bit to receive. Again, went through a company to make the purchase and send it here and all that good stuff because the company I purchased it from could not sell to the U.S. directly, so had to find a way around that. But yeah, beautiful little watch. Seiko 5, 140th anniversary. Great little watch. I might actually have to pick up the other three in this series just to have the 140th collection. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. We will have a, our first watch giveaway coming up here when we hit the 150 user mark so if you're not a member definitely subscribe and you may be one of the you may be the fortunate person to receive one of the watches that you've seen on these unboxings so anyway thanks a bunch